Greenacres is a city in Palm Beach County, Florida, United States. The population was 27,569 at the 2000 census. In 2010, the population recorded by the U.S. Census Bureau was 37,573. History In 1909, Frederick E. Bryant, a British agriculturalist, Harold J. Bryant, and William Greenwood of the Palm Beach Farms Company in Colorado, bought thousands of acres of land in the Everglades and later along the coast of Lake Worth in 1910. The men sold the land to buyers throughout the United States and Canada, offering five acres hectares plots for $250, with a $10 down payment and a $10 per month charge, which also included a 25 by 25 feet 7 .6 by 7 .6 meters parcel on the shore of Lake Worth. However, difficulties involved with farming in the Everglades forced 308 buyers to settle at their properties along Lake Worth, an area that would later become the city of Lake Worth. Until the land boom of the 1920s, these lots were effectively abandoned. Around that time, Lawrence Carter, L. C. Swain of Massachusetts acquired 320 acres 130 hectares of land, with the intention of creating a community for the working class. He initially platted approximately half of the land in 1923, with a plat just west of Military Trail becoming the original section of the city. By 1925, Swain began selling lots for $225. The town was originally incorporated as Greenacres City on May 24, 1926. The name Greenacres was the winning entry in a local naming contest. Upon incorporating, the town had an estimated 1,250 residents. Greenacres City was almost completely destroyed by the 1926 Miami hurricane and again by the 1928 Okeechobee hurricane. Swain died in 1944. Swain Boulevard and L.C. Swain Middle School are named in his honor. In 1945, about 125 residents petitioned for the Florida legislature to abolish the Greenacres City as a municipality. The legislature passed a bill to disincorporate Greenacres City in April of that year, which became a law on April 24, 1945, without the signature of Governor Millard Caldwell. Then Mayor Charles A. Grabowski actively fought the new law, as no referendum to forfeit the town's charter had been held. Additionally, Grabowski accused a resident of starting the dissolution movement out of spite after being denied a homestead exemption and claimed that many of the signatories did not actually own property in Greenacres City. Grabowski also asserted that the pleas of city officials and a large number of residents in favor of remaining a town were ignored. On December 4, 1945, a meeting was held to reincorporate Greenacres City. A total of 86 out of 120 registered voters turned out, more than the two-thirds of voters' quorum required. The 86 voters unanimously decided to reincorporate. The area's rights as a city were restored, while Greenacres City was officially reincorporated in 1947. Over the subsequent decades, Greenacres City eventually expanded to 6 square miles 16 square kilometers through annexation. In the 1960s, a city hall complex was constructed at the intersection of Perry Avenue and 4th Street, while a community center was built nearby. The city hall complex originally included a public library and all other city departments, except for the fire and public works departments. By the 1970s, full-time police and fire departments were established. In response to concerns about future growth, residents approved a bond referendum in 1984 to fund construction of a new city hall, a public safety complex, and recreational facilities. In 1990, about 60% of voters chose to drop the word city from the official name, thus renaming the municipality Greenacres. After the 1990 census indicated a population of 18,638, City Council authorized a special census in 1993, which added more than 3,000 additional residents to the official population count, making Greenacres eligible for funds from the state government of Florida. 
To commemorate the city's 80th anniversary, the Greenacres Historical Society was formed in 2006, with a museum established two years later. In July 2007, construction was completed on a new city hall and public works facility on Melaleuca Lane. Geography <laughs> 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 Greenacres is located at 26 degrees 37 minutes 41 seconds north 80 degrees 8 minutes 7 seconds west 26.628045, minus 80.135389. According to the United States Census Bureau, the city has a total area of 5.79 square miles 15.0 square kilometers, all land. Demographics As of 2010, there were 17,249 households out of which 16.6% .6 were vacant. As of 2000, 24.5% had children under the age of 18 living with them, 45.9% were married couples living together, 12.5% had a female householder with no husband present, and 37.1% were non-families. 29.7% of all households were made up of individuals and 15.1% had someone living alone who was 65 years of age or older. The average household size was 2.29 and the average family size was 2.80. In 2000, 20.9% of the population were under the age of 18, 7.6% from 18 to 24, 28.5% from 25 to 44, 19.4% from 45 to 64, and 23.6% who were 65 years of age or older. The median age was 40 years. For every 100 females, there were 87.9 males. For every 100 females age 18 and over, there were 84.2 males. In 2000, the median household income was $36,941 and the median family income was $41,250. Males had a median income of $30,207 compared with $25,141 for females. The per capita income for the city was $19,298. About 5.0% of families and 7.2% of the population were below the poverty line, including 8.8% of those under age 18 and 6.5% of those age 65 or over. As of 2000, speakers of English as a first language accounted for 73.64% of all residents, while Spanish accounted for 21.02%, Italian for 1.69%, French Creole made up 1.09%, German was at 0.71%, and French was the mother tongue for 0.45% of the population. As of 2000, Greenacres had the 99th highest percentage of Cuban residents in the U.S., with 2.41% of the populace tied with Forest, Mississippi, and the 97th highest percentage of Colombian residents in the U.S., at 1.67% of the city's population. Education <inaudible> 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 Public elementary schools Choli Lake Elementary Diamond View Elementary Greenacres Elementary Heritage Elementary Liberty Park Elementary Forest Hill Elementary School Public Middle Schools L.C. Swain Middle School Okehealy Middle School Tradewinds Middle School Public High School John the First. Leonard High School. 